Today, I'm going to take a look at Roblox's API. And an API is an application programming interface. It's how different programs can communicate with each other. If you're wondering how programs like Please Donate or games like Please Donate work, where somebody can come into a game, your game potentially, set up a stand to sell game passes, and I believe Please Donate probably gets a cut. I haven't really played it. But they use the Roblox API, right? At least I assume they do. We're going to set up something very similar so we can see how it's done. Let's go ahead and get started. So I created a very simple game here. It's other user game passes. And I created under PC Baker 0000 and I put the Simtech Gamer 7's passes in from the last video. Let's see if we could sell his passes under PC Baker 0000's game. If I go over to my hamburger menu right here, We'll take a look at inventory, see what passes he has. That way we can see if it's a success. So we have passes. We're going to scroll up. Oh man, just this lame hyper laser pass from a video long, long ago. So there's only one pass there. Let's go ahead and go to our game. And I started it up. Let's hit our question mark. Donate Robux. Why, yes. Donate to Simtech Gamer 7. Sure. And how about 10R? Okay. Donate 10R. Boom. Part your purchase for 10R donation succeeded. Sweet. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll go ahead and refresh. Look at that. So I bought the game game pass from T Simtech Gamer 7 in PC Baker 0000's game. How is that done? In a game like Please Donate, the user goes into the game, sets up a stand. When they set up the stand, the creators of Please Donate have access to the player's user ID. When they do that, they can make an API call to Roblox to get all the public instances or experiences created by that user. With that information, they can make another API call to get the game passes associated with the public games. That's how they do it. You might be thinking, what are these API calls? What magic do I need to make that work? Well, I did some Googling and I found this Swagger UI. I'll put the URL in the description. Ah, oh, look at that. Games API version 2 base URL games.roblox.com. We need this. This is where we're going to start. We go down here and this right here, V2 users, user ID games, is going to get the public games from Roblox. Let's open this up for the user based on the user ID and we can try it out, right? So it says user ID. Oh, we have to hit try it out. User ID. Let's go ahead and hit a control V because I copied my user ID off screen. We're going to get that in code, right? But just for the example, I'm going to leave this stuff default. Perhaps I'll even reduce this. Oh, I can't reduce less than 10. I'm going to hit execute. Now we just made a Roblox uh, API call and I got the donate lesson first. That's the last one that I have that's public. And here I have the ID for that game. Let's go ahead and save that and copy. For the game passes, I am going to have to go to version one. Oh, and pay attention to this stuff right here. We're going to talk about that a little bit too. And we're talking about a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, proxies. We're, we have to do a proxy with this. I'll get into that. I'm just going to close this. Boom. Then we're going to go up here to the top. Ooh, games API is V2. Let's look at games API V1. And see if we have anything that's going to lead us to game passes. Oh, look at that. Game passes. Let's go ahead and open that. Let's try this out. 
Universe ID, well, that's the, that's the game ID. Control V, we copied that, right? Here they don't give us a default limit. I'm gonna put two. I just wanna get the first two passes. And I'll hit execute. Oh yeah, look at that. 10 Robux donation, 20 Robux donation. We're doing pretty well. You might also wanna pay attention to this curl. I think we're gonna do that. And we got the URL request. Ooh, let's copy that so we don't have to fumble around with it. Encode, trying to figure out where to put these question marks. These are these are parameters, right? These are URL parameters. So we have our limit to the sort order is one. Yep, sort order is one. That all means something to Roblox. I'm going to copy this. I pasted this URL off screen in Notepad, so I'll have it for later. You might want to do that too. I'm going to go to the Roblox Studio, and this is an empty game, but I did save it off as API stuff. So I went to this game settings, save this off. We're going to have to do two things for security though. So after you save your game, go to security. We are going to need to allow HTTP requests. Click. Oh, look at that. Starting to get, uh, starting to get some warnings there. And we're also going to allow third party sales. You would also get warnings for that, but we already got a warning. Let's hit save. Let's take a look at Roblox's HTTP service. I'm gonna to go to server script service, hit the plus, add a script, and maybe I'll just call this API stuff. There we go. I'm going to get the code from my cat facts of the day API lesson from a, I think it was like a year or so ago at least, and maybe even two. I'm just going to cut and paste it. I'll put it in the description. That way you don't have to see me fumble around with this. I want to get more into the meat of things rather than just watching, having you watch me code. So we got the HTTP service. This is a URL, an API for a cat fact of the day. We are going to do a get request using the HTTP service. We're going to get a response back and then we're going to decode the JSON, put it into data, into a table, print this out. Let's take a look at what we got. I'm going to hit play. We'll go to view. I'm going to hit the output window because it's only gonna fire once when we start up. Let me hit my, there we go, my, my uh, output window there. And it's going really slow because this is a Saturday. Ooh, here it is. All right, I'm gonna make this bigger. Let's move this up and I will open this. All right, look at that. We got data from an API, the cat fact of the day API fact. Approximately one third of cat owners think their pets are able to read their minds. Sweet, that's the information we get back from that. Let's try Roblox. Go ahead and turn your game off. We're gonna to go to our API stuff. I'll close the output window. I am gonna replace this, this URL with control V, what we did in that API page, right? So I, I'd copied that off screen. That's why it just kind of popped up there, but you get the idea. This should work. We did it in the swagger, in the swagger window, right? Let's go ahead and hit play. See what happens. View. Output. Bra, HTT service is not allowed to access Roblox resources. Is that crazy or what? Did we make a mistake? Let's try a curl command. Curl is the command line URL tool. It comes with uh, Windows and I believe most Linux boxes have it too. You can install it, but I have a Windows box. It is already on Windows. Let's just turn this off right here. Take a look at our swagger page. And 
notice, so this was this is what I saved off and I pasted it into my game. This is the curl command, the command or uh, the command line URL tool. I'm going to use this same uh, line right here. If you're using Windows, these slashes are going to mess you up. Let's go down to the search bar. I know you can't see my search bar underneath the screen here, but I just hit where it says search and I'm going to look up command prompt. If you use get bash, which I haven't gone over, but you could copy this straight in with the command prompt. We're just going to simplify things a little bit. There we go. I'm going to type curl and then I still have this URL pasted in the buffer from my game. If I just go ahead and right click, it's going to plop it there. I don't need the dash X and the get. Uh, this is get is default and then accept J application JSON. I think we'll be all right. Let me just hit enter. Boom. Look at that. I got information back. Ooh. 10 Roblox donations. I am getting all the information back. It's not formatted, formatted, but it's working. Why is it working from my computer and not from Roblox? Roblox does not allow you to send HTTP requests to Roblox APIs, but you can from outside. How do you get around this? You use something called a proxy. You might be thinking, what is a proxy? Well, I'll give you an example. I'm going to give you an analogy. Let's say it's against the law to pay people in your own family money directly. All right. Some strange law, but people from outside your family can pay you and you can pay people money. Just give them money if they're not in your family. So you get some guy standing down the street there and you need to give your brother a hundred bucks, walk down to the guy on the street, give him a hundred bucks and say, you can keep 10 if you give him 90 or whatever, give him 110, he gives your brother 90. So then your brother goes down, gets that money from the guy down the street. What's the problem with that? Well, the problem is, the guy might keep the money, right? You don't know. Or the guy might just disappear. He might fall over dead or something like that. You have to be able to trust your proxy. This is where we run into trouble with this whole schema. That being said, I just opened up this Google tab and I'm going to click on this. Don't switch. I'm going to paste this question that I wrote off screen game passes. How do I get all game passes from a game? Let's see what the community says about it. Oh, look at that. I already checked this one out and I open it up and you're going to see a lot of the same information and people running into trouble. If you go down here, oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. This is funny. A free public and known Roblox proxy can be found here. Ooh, Roblox, Rob proxy. A lot of people use that, right? And then down here, look at this. Stop using Robro Roblox proxies. So these are a bunch of them. This is basically saying the same thing I explained to you. You don't know who they are, right? And I guarantee you that a game as big as please donate, they wrote their own proxy. Let's click on this though. Take a look. Now, when you get here, you will notice, I think there's somebody called like Meeks down here. This is a lot of the same complaints. They're running into proxy problems. He gave a response that I liked, but anyway, uh, he gave one for the game for uh, the resources. Notice what they're doing is they're, they are switching out the URL here. So that's a V2 inventory roblox.com. They're switching it out with row proxy, right? I'm not going to do that, right? That's, that's not really my thing. I think you should write your own proxy or get some proxy that you really trust somebody that, that wrote it for you. Now, if we want to take a look at Python, let's say you want to write a proxy in Python. It would probably be the easiest way to go about it. I'm going to bring up PyCharm, an integrated development environment. 
I just threw this together real quick to send out the URLs in request. You'll notice that this is actually easier than in Roblox. We have our imports for JSON, the request package, I send a get request, and then I get the page back, I get the JSON, that's JavaScript object notation, it's just a way of formatting data, and then we print it out. So this is for the games, and then this one here is for the game passes. The same thing that we did earlier with the same numbers. If I go ahead and hit run, now this isn't the whole proxy, this is just going out. This is the other guy down the street who's pay, paying the brother. You still have to write the code to send to here, and then you're gonna replace the proxy name with, with this URL based on what they're sending. Not very, it doesn't sound very easy, and it's not, so that's why I'm gonna add Python stuff to my channel. But you can see here, we got all the data back, no problem, right? I don't know why you can get it from outside and you can't get it in Roblox, but I think we should get back to the demo that I showed in the beginning. I'll show you the code there. I'll make the whole game, I'll save, I'll make it copyable so you can copy it and then just show you where you're gonna need to put those numbers if you do use row proxy or whichever ones were listed. So this is the game I showed in the beginning. Let's take a look at the script. I will make this copyable so you could take a look. I just have my local script over here. And I have the numbers where I can actually query the marketplace to get the game pass, right? So I actually didn't need the owner's ID right here. When you buy the game pass, that owner is going to get paid for it. Now, in the API stuff, I did go ahead and put row proxy in there. I was feeling, uh, I was feeling daring. I, I wouldn't put it in a production game because this guy, this, I mean, this server could be running anywhere and it could get shut down and then your game's not going to work. Uh, it seems to be pretty stable though. But I put the ID in. I got the data back down here. Let me go ahead and open this up, make it bigger. So basically what I got back was two sets of data. This data was for using row proxy for the games. It was a first call, but I changed Roblox row proxy. Down here, these are the game passes. So you can get the user ID. I just hard coded the user ID, but I'm gonna put in comments here how you could get it. User ID right there. Then with that user ID, when you set up the stand, you're going to get the different places, right? And then uh, I need this to be public for my development, right? And then I got my ID for the game, right? And then you'd switch that out here. So you'd have to be able to parse the JSON. At this level, if you're still paying attention, I'm pretty sure that you can parse the JSON, right? Uh, if not, that's all right. It's, it's something to work towards. I'm going to put more... Uh, technology-based videos in rather than just Roblox. Roblox is kind of my my thing and I like it. I'm going to keep doing that, but we have to get some more stuff in uh, in this channel so that you can actually expand past just the simple game engine things. Just remember that it is under PC Baker 0000. You're going to come here and then edit in studio if you want a copy of it. Let's just make sure I do have permission set to allow users to download a copy of this place. And make sure it's saved. All right, there you go. So you can try this out and uh, good luck with that. Let me know if you have any questions.